Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a GW Panther, the Geschutzwagen Panther. It's the Tier 7 German SPG. It's located on the north spawn of Overlord and it's under the command of Josty Wager, or Wagner. Josty Wagner, that's it, of Philo. Now, but he's sitting between an M12 for the American Tier 7 and a Soviet Tier 7, the S51. And he's got the big 203mm howitzer, the B4. So he's off to his firing position. He's got a 15cm howitzer as his main armament, but it's mounted in the turret, which actually gives this RT quite a wide field of fire. Now it looks to me like he's headed off right into the corner, which does give you kind of some protection because you're hidden behind that bunker to a certain extent from the enemy um, marauders and so you can get shots off on them before they get too close. Okay, it's nicely situated. He's now looking for a target. Oh, tree went down there. And another one. And oh, there are wheelies in this game now. Like Klaus Kellerman, I believe that the wheelies are actually ruining the game. They're, they are vermin. And they're ruining the game because they are just too overpowered. And therefore, they really need to be completely nerfed. Um, cut their speed in half and uh, also make it so they can't actually fire on, on the move. I think most people have opinions on wheelies. Some people do like them. I know that. I understand it. But the fact of the matter is, if wheelies were so powerful during World War II, everyone would have had fleets of wheelies and no tanks. And of course, the fact is that they didn't have fleets of wheelies. They had some wheelies, but most of their vehicles were tanks. Uh, because tanks are much more practical, they can go over any terrain and they have much more armor. And an enemy RT has been spotted, the M12. He's not moving, so obviously his sixth sense hasn't gone off or he doesn't have one. And, well, that's a round that just hit from one of our teammates. And Josty Wagner fires in and kills the M12 with second. Now, that Tiger II stationary. Not a good thing. He's probably thinking about what should I do next. Uh, he's woken up now. And that round just... That definitely would have woken him up, because that shell hit the turret. Okay, we've got the SP-1C popping into the bowl on that side. Over here, we've still got that Tiger too. He's getting a real he shelling from everyone. Lined up the shots. Oh, he's pulling back. So work out where he's going. If he can get this on target. Oh, he misses out on the kill. He could have had the kill there, but unfortunately missed out on one. But there's the SP-1C. And another auntie has been spotted. It's an M12. He knows he's been spotted because he's starting to receive rounds from our teammates. And so he's moving forward, and I don't think we need to worry about him because he's going to die, and he has. Okay, what have we got now? Oh, Malbreaker. He's on the next level down. Not quite the cliff edge, but close. Difficult shot, that, because that rock is definitely in the way. We can fire around in now, and he does. Oh, and he wipes out the Malbreaker, which is a... Pretty good shot, actually, if you think about it, because the 15 centimeter hasn't got a huge amount of penetration. In fact, it'll only go up to 39 millimeters of armor, and the Malbreaker does have slightly more than that on the sides. Well, we've got some weenies down south, and I think the weenies are after the Aurati. Yes, unfortunately, we've already lost the M12. It's just the S51 and ourselves now. And I had the feeling that Josty Wagner is actually trying to draw his teammates' attention to the fact that there are a pair of wheelies off to the west of the map and the setters spotted them. Josty Wagner's not adjusting his aim, though. 
and we just lost the setter to one of the EBRs and they're headed this way. Okay, he's lining the shots up. He's going off to the second one. Fires the round in. Oh, kill shot! Right in the face! Took that one right in the face. He's been spotted, but there's only one enemy arty. And whether or not that guy aims is another matter. Will Josty be loaded in time? The S51's still alive, but not anymore. Josty's loaded. Oh, he's just been hit by the enemy arty. He's down on the beach. Josty's trying to line up a shot on the Hotchkiss. It's difficult. He does. And yes, he gets a shotgun. Well, it was an aimed shot rather than a shotgun. But he has to move because the enemy RT knows where he is now. And will be trying to get him again, even though he's got a 155mm howitzer, which takes about 20 seconds to load. I think Josty would rather get out of that position. And he also needs to be able to fire on that 704, who's just gone into the cap. Now, the enemy have only got three left now. Their RT's suddenly been found in the chine. Josty's lining up a shot. Aim ahead of him, that's it. Let him drive straight into the shell when you fire. That's the best way to handle those. He's still giving you his sight. He doesn't realise you can see him. He's trying to get behind that house. You might be able to get a shot on that, Lorraine. Oh, not not anymore. So it's all about getting this 704 now. And, well, he's been requested to platoon with the EBR on his own team. And he doesn't get a hit there. In fact, actually, he's platooned with the Leopard prototype who's already dead. He's got three kills. And the 704 goes down to the Object 263. I suppose um, those two other players probably had missions and that will probably help them to um, by platooning. But there's no award for platooning in the circumstances. It's a second class tanker for Josty Wagner in the Fino, uh, Fino in the GW Panther. He managed to get a Bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got eight. He got a fighter badge for getting at least four kills. He got four exactly. But of course he got two kills on those EBRs. And we always like to see the vermin destroyed, put down, uh, given their just desserts, which is to be shotgunned or blown out of existence in a battle. It's always nice to see that if you're in an arty. Now, let's have a look at team score. He didn't get the highest damage in the game. That actually went to the Object 263, who got the last shot as well. 3,586 hit points of damage. And we can see that Josty actually only managed to get 1,687. But when it came to kills, he actually did get the highest number in the game. Four kills for him. Three kills for the Leopard Prototype. Three for the Conqueror, the 704, and the Hotchkiss EBR on the enemy team. That must have been the last one that he took out. When it came to base XP, it was the 7032 who did the best with 1024. Then came Josty with 899 and the Leopard prototype with 826. He fired 10 rounds, got 7 direct hits, 2 penetrations. I suspect that the penetrations were actually on those EBRs. 5 splash, damage of 1687 hit points, of which 1233 were at more than 300 meters. He received one hit, it was a penetration, yes, I'm afraid, and he also one hit by way of splash damage. The penetration shot came from the EBR, the hit by way of splash damage actually came from the enemy RT who spotted where he was and fired around in. Seven enemy vehicles damaged, four killed, and 176 hit points of stun assist off three stuns. And he also managed to get two defense points whilst the 704 was in the cap. On a premium count, he earned 20,767 20, credits, got 15,576 from personal missions payout, and after repair and ammunition resupply, took away 31,474 credits. He received 899 XP, and took away 1,349 because there's something there that What Replays is not telling us about. So, pretty good game there for Josty Wagner. And it was nice to see two EPRs bite the dust the, the correct way to be blown out of existence by Artie. They were brought into the game by Wargaming to kill Artie. 
and to deal with artsy by the developers but unfortunately what they're doing now is they're killing everything in the game and they're destroying the game as it is in fact it will turn the game into one glorified mario kart game if they don't do something about it and they'll have to do something soon so let's hope that uh, the financial team or if not the board of directors of world of tanks or wargaming uh, uh see that this is uh, this damage is being done because I'm not the only one who feels this way. Quite a lot of other players feel the same way, that these wheelies are destroying the game, especially if you get uh, one of these or rather an EBR-105 on one side in a tier 10 game and the other side doesn't have one, uh, they have some light tank instead, then obviously the side with EBR is always going to win the game and it's just so biased, so unfair, it's ruining the game and it's making it a joke. So... Come on, more gaming! You need to take those EPRs out of the game. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.